benefits of faith in Jesus. One of the basic considerations in life is the ability to understand the purpose, profit, and benefit of any endeavor. For that reason, let us look at Christian faith and see what the Bible says about purpose, profit, and benefit of having and nurturing it until one becomes a giant in faith. By definition, faith is plain trust in God. Hebrews 11 verse 1 says, Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. Benefits of Faith Faith assures success. 2 Chronicles 20 verse 20 So they rose early in the morning and went out into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went out, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and you inhabitants of Jerusalem. Believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. Believe in his prophets, and you shall prosper. Luke 8 verse 50 But when Jesus heard it, he answered him, saying, Do not be afraid, only believe, and she will be made well. Mark 11, verse 22. So Jesus answered and said to them, Have faith in God. Faith is a fundamental duty. John 6, verse 28 and 29. Then they said to him, What shall we do that they may work the works of God? Jesus answered and said to them, This is the work of God, that you believe in him, whom he sent. Faith is a defensive weapon. Ephesians 6 verse 16. Above all, taking the shield of faith, which which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 8. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and as a helmet the hope of salvation. 1 Timothy 1 verse 19. Having faith and a good conscience, which some having rejected concerning the faith have suffered shipwreck. 1 Timothy 6 verse 12 Fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on eternal life, to which you were also called and have confessed the good confession in the presence of many witnesses. Hebrews 10 verse 22 Let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water an indispensable element in Christianity. Hebrews 11 verse 6 But without faith it is impossible to please him, for he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. An essential tool in prayer. James 1 verses 5 and 6 If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all liberally and without reproach, and it will be given to him. But let him ask in faith, with no doubting. For he who doubts is like a wave of the sea, driven and tossed by the wind. An ingredient in dispensing the love of God. 1 John 3 verse 23 So these are his commands, that we continually place our trust in the name of his Son, Jesus Christ, that we keep loving one another just as he has commanded us. Faith is a vehicle for blessings according to happen. Matthew 8 verse 13 Then Jesus said to the centurion, Go your way, and as you have believed, so let it be done for you. And his servant was healed that same hour. The centurion believed, and his servant was healed. Let us hear the full context of how this came about. Case study 1. Faith is a vehicle. Matthew 8 verses 5 through 13 Now when Jesus had entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him, pleading with him, saying, Lord, my servant is lying at home paralyzed, dreadfully tormented. And Jesus said to him, I will come and heal him. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof, but only speak a word and my servant will be healed. For I also am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. And I say to this one, go, and he goes, and to another, come, and he comes, and to my servant, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard it, he marveled, and said to those who followed, Assuredly, I say to you, I have not found such great faith, not even in Israel. And I say to you that many will come from east and west and sit down with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the sons of the kingdom will be cast out into outer darkness. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then Jesus said to the centurion, Go your way, and as you have believed, so let it be done for you. 
and his servant was healed that same hour. Case Study 2 Matthew 9, verses 29 and 30 Then he touched their eyes, saying, According to your faith, let it be to you. And their eyes were opened, and Jesus sternly warned them, saying, See that no one knows it. The two blind men believed, and their eyes were opened. Let us hear the full context of how this came about. Matthew 9, verses 27 through 31 when Jesus departed from there, two blind men followed him, crying out and saying, Son of David, have mercy on us. And when he had come into the house, the blind men came to him. And Jesus said to them, Do you believe that I am able to do this? They said to him, Yes, Lord. Then he touched their eyes, saying, According to your faith, let it be to you. And their eyes were opened, and Jesus sternly warned them, saying, See that no one knows it. But when they had departed, they spread the news about him in all that country. Case Study 3 Matthew 17, verse 20 So Jesus said to them, Because of your unbelief, for assuredly I say to you, if you have faith as a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible for you. The man believed, and his son was healed. Let us hear the full context of how this came about. And when they had come to the multitude, a man came to him, kneeling down to him and saying, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is an epileptic and suffers severely, for he often falls into the fire and often into the water. So I brought him to your disciples, but they could not cure him. Then Jesus answered and said, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I bear with you? Bring him here to me. And Jesus rebuked the demon, and it came out of him, and the child was cured from that very hour. Then the disciples came to Jesus privately and said, Why could we not cast it out? So Jesus said to them, Because of your unbelief, for assuredly I say to you, if you have faith as a mustard seed, you will say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move, and nothing will be impossible for you. However, this kind does not go out except by prayer and fasting. Faith is an amazing tool in a believer's journey if one is to maximize or profit from the position of being a child of God. This is why Luke 17 verse 5 says, And the apostles said to the Lord, Increase our faith. The realization had dawned on them that it is all about faith. Let us work on our faith, brothers and sisters. Romans 10 verse 17 So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. God bless you. The hardest thing a believer can ever do is to have faith. This comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. The level of your operations in the realm of the spirit depends solely on the level of your intimacy with God. You can't come to the Father God without believing in him. We must believe that he can do all things. Most times, we experience unpalatable and unpredictable situations that can weigh our faith down. But God is still alive. Never forget his promises concerning our lives. He rules the whole world with his power and might. We must keep believing even in the darkest moment. Are you frustrated? Do you feel rejected or dejected? Do you feel humiliated? Do you think that all hope is lost? Yes, it's not over until it's over. Keep moving, keep believing. Isaiah 43, 2, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you and through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flame scorch you. God never says, when you are passing the waters in fire, he will pick you up, but he said he will be with you, which means God is always with you. He is in control of the situation, if you only give him the chance to do so. God can make your yoke and burdens light if you keep trusting Him.